In this video, we're going to walk through some more complex calorimetry problems. So we're, instead of using just Q equals mc delta t, in these problems we'll be equating our system mc delta t with our surroundings mc delta t. So our first example, a 10 gram piece of solid copper was heated in a Bunsen burner flame and then quickly transferred to a calorimeter containing 150 milliliters of water. After the copper was added, the temperature of the water increased from 19 degrees Celsius to 26.2 degrees Celsius. What was the temperature change of the copper? So to do this problem, we need to assign system and surroundings. So our system is going to be copper. Uh, and so we know the mass of our system is 10.0 grams. Uh, the specific heat capacity of copper is 0 0.385 joules per gram degree Celsius. You can get that from page 3 of the Chem 30 data booklet. And we're solving for the change in temperature of copper. Uh, our surroundings are going to be water. So we know that the mass of our surroundings is 150 grams because we know that one milliliter of water is equal to one gram. Uh, the specific heat capacity of water is 4.19 joules per gram degree Celsius, also available in your data book. And the change in temperature is 26.2 degrees Celsius minus, so final minus initial minus 19, gives us 7.2 degrees Celsius. So now we can equate our two uh, equations. So we have mc delta t for our system is going to equal to mc delta t for our surroundings. And we're going to put a negative sign in front of the surroundings because our copper is going to get colder. So it started in a fire and it's being put into water. So it's going to cool down. That's going to experience a negative energy change. Our water is going to get warmer because something hot is being added to it. And we see that in the temperature change. So it's going to experience a positive temperature change. So this negative sign just helps us equate the two. So we're going to rearrange this equation to solve for the change in temperature of our system. So change in temperature of copper. And to do that, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by mc of our system. So we're going to divide both sides by the mass times the specific heat capacity of copper. And so now we can just plug in our numbers. So uh, we have uh, 150 grams of water times 4.19 joules per gram degree Celsius times 7.2 degrees Celsius, and that's negative. And that's going to be divided by 10.0 grams times 0 0.385 joules per gram degree Celsius. And we get a final tem or initial temperature, or temperature change, sorry, of 1,175 degrees Celsius, and that's negative. Uh, so the copper's temperature decreased by 1,175 degrees Celsius. In our second example, we're going to look at um, two solutions. So a sample of hot water initially at 84 degrees Celsius was added to 45 milliliters of cold water initially at 4 degrees Celsius. After mixing it was determined the final temperature of the combined water sample was 57.5 degrees Celsius. What volume of hot water was added? So again we're going to assign system and surroundings. So in this case uh, I'm going to call our system the hot water. we can just list our known information. So we don't know the mass of our hot water. We do know that it has a specific heat capacity of 4.19 joules per gram degree Celsius, and we can calculate its uh, temperature change by subtracting final, uh, or sorry, subtracting initial from final. So 57.5 minus 84, and we get a temperature change of negative 26.5 degrees Celsius. So now we're going to assign our um, surroundings. In this case, our surroundings are going to be the cold water. So 
So the mass of our cold water is 45 grams because we know one gram equals one milliliter. Uh, the specific heat capacity, again, 4.19 joules per gram degrees Celsius. And our change in temperature, final 57.5 minus initial 4. And that gives us a change in temperature of a positive 53.5 degrees Celsius. So now we're going to equate these two uh, energy changes. So our system, mc delta t, is equal to, but opposite, so negative mc delta t of our surroundings. So uh, we're going to be solving for the mass of our system. So that means that we have to divide both sides of our equation by the specific heat capacity times the temperature change of our hot water. So we will have negative mc delta t divided by c delta t. Now in this scenario, our two values for c are equal. So we can cross those out if we'd like. Um, if they're not equal, you can't. So I'm going to cross them out just for simplicity here. And this is only because uh, the two are equal. So both systems are water. All right, so we can uh, continue solving this equation by plugging in numbers. So here we have negative 45 uh, grams, and the temperature change is 53.5 for our surroundings. And then for our system, uh, we will have the temperature change, which is negative 26.5 degrees Celsius. And so we can see here we have a negative on the top, negative on the bottom, so our answer, which is our mass, will be positive, which it should be. If you do find that you've gotten a weird number and negative where you shouldn't, you might have just forgotten a sign in your calculation, so just double check and really think about what should the sign be on my answer. And so here we get 90.8 grams, and we get two sig digs because of all of the, because of 45 and 4. So we have approximately 91 grams um, of water, which is the same as 91 milliliters.